Hey everyone, it's Sia Patsy, and I am here going to do the reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and um, their Jupiter for the time period between now and the end of June. Understanding that these messages are timeless, it'll you'll be able to relate to it at whenever you're drawn to watch it. Don't forget you can come back and check it, check the messages again. You know, later on in the month or anytime. Any of the videos in the playlist, you're welcome to uh, check them out. Don't forget to, to uh, check out your rising sign, your moon sign, your Venus and your Jupiter um, to see if those messages resonate with your particular situation more at the time. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you all. Who are my all my subscribers who are returning? Thank you, and those are new to the channel. Thank you also. I appreciate it. Every day we're growing, and so uh, still at a rate that I can keep up with it. So we just thank God for all things, right? So um, this month we're going to be using cards from the um, astrological card deck and a new deck. Of course, uh, the fortune uh, deck, fortune, fortune telling, fortune telling reading cards, All right? Fortune reading cards by Sharina Taylor, Sharina Star. All the information will be in the bottom of the description of the video, right? So we're going to see what happens. Get some general messages. Remember, these are general messages. If you'd like a personalized reading. Send an email to me at pbtarot7 at gmail.com. Don't forget to comment below. All right. And uh, the comments help us all grow. And you never know when your situation could help uplift someone else. So for the time period between now and the end of June, the uh, planet that will be affecting your the situation at hand okay the way you operate or that will be affecting your personality during this time period is saturn so this talks about learning gaining wisdom okay accepting challenges saturn is challenging okay so it's going to stir up a lot of things are going to be stirred up. Maybe you'll be triggered by some of uh, the actions and the activities or the events that are going on around you. All right. But you are going to be able to rise to the occasion, accept the challenge and gain more wisdom. The zodiac sign that you are going to be embodying during this time period got two first one is Capricorn so some of you may have your Saturn and Capricorn Saturn may be transitioning into Capricorn at this time I don't know I'm not an astrology person just try to learn as I go along just like you just like some of you some of you are experts I know this talks about materialism seriousness hard work strategic moves, ambitious moves. So you are going to be focusing on your work, focusing on your materialism, being very ambitious. So this might be talking about you using these qualities to deal with whatever the challenges is, challenges are that you're going to be experiencing during these this time period you might have to tap into your dark side or maybe you feel that you will be needing to tap into your dark side in order to fulfill your ambitions of materialism got another card 
another zodiac card for this time period aries so this is every season right now well it was every season now it's Taurus season but still lingering so this is about leadership newness i am okay this is about some impulsive actions that you may be taking leaving doing something outside of your comfort zone something is going to get you moving something is going to spark your interest maybe or maybe the wisdom that you gain during this challenge causes you to make a spontaneous move that is um, in keeping with your shrewdness so maybe this spontaneous move may not be all that spontaneous maybe it's something that you have planned some type of strategic move that you may have had in the works but when you finally make that move it may be surprising to some people but it's going to be something that's going to be honest and clear so there may be some truth telling that goes on or it could be something is exposed some some strategy some plan you're exposing someone else's actions you're going to do something spontaneously maybe you're going to surprise yourself and the house that's going to be affected by this behavior and these events is the first house which is the way you present to the world so something that is going to go on during this time period is going to bring you a challenge but at the same time that challenge is going to give you the opportunity to um, take um, lessons that you've learned previously um, and apply them as you decide what actions to take to tackle this situation and it may affect the way or change or reinforce the way your image the way people see you also could be saying that this action that you are going to be taking is because of your desire to impress people or to keep the image that you have already um presented with keep it going it may not be real it may be a facade but it's still your image so you're either going to be doing something that's going to preserve your image or it could be something that is going to be real impulsive that may affect the way others look at you from now on so from the fortune reading cards in the past there was unity the recent past was a time of divine understanding renewal peace and hope and you have attracted a great love so again this could be talking about spirituality maybe you had an awakening maybe you finally put your masculine and feminine energies together and got a deeper and greater understanding more wisdom of yourself and your spirituality it could be saying that you have that you were in a you in the recent past you entered into a relationship okay something is then that is bringing you hope a renewal okay um you could all also be saying that this this uh wisdom that you are gaining during this time period this inner hmm, reflection and the way that you attract or attack the challenges 
have brought you some understanding of yourself, of your divinity, and the opportunity to attract a greater love. Ashe, wow. Mm. Presently, hmm, harness the loyal and protective aura of the lion and charge ahead magnificently. So this talks about being brave. This could be talking about com impulsive actions, okay? But lions, I'm sure that they are, are strategic in their hunting as well as brave. They're protective of their families, their tribes, their packs. But they, when they roar, they roar and everybody listens. So this is about being strong, protecting your home, protecting your possessions, protecting your reputation, protecting your image. Mm-hmm. So in the past, you found unity, you found an understanding, and maybe now you are going to be protecting what you have gained, what you have learned, the love that you have acquired, the love that you have come into an understanding with, and it may be seen by others as impulsive, but you know that is something that you've thought about for a long time. You just kept it under wraps. And this may affect the way people, you may surprise people. You might surprise people when they hear you roar. Luck is in your future. <laughs> you are right to be strong and optimistic about the opportunities ahead. So, this is a clover. Four-leaf clover. All right, but that four-leaf clover actually has eight leaves. So this is about continued luck, a bright future, optimistic opportunities. When you stand up in your truth and embrace the peace that has been brought to you. Embrace the opportunity for love that has come to you, that you have attracted, because that's what you were looking for. So this is about your image. This is about love. This is about standing up to the challenges, whether they be at your love life or in your work situation. Okay, you're going to be able to protect yourself, protect your position, protect the things that are important to you, and go forward with faith, hope, optimism, and luck. That's so funny. I was, it's Easter Sunday when I'm taping this. And this morning I was thinking about that song, In Your Easter Bonnet, with all the frills upon it. This is old. I don't even think that they teach this in school anymore, but this was back in the day, right? That was the Easter song. In your Easter Bonnet, with all the frills upon it, I'll be the finest lady in the Easter parade. And I'll be all in clover. And when they look me over... I'll be the proudest fella in the Easter parade down the avenue, <laughs> Fifth Avenue. The photographers will step up and you'll find that you're in the photogravure. That was like back in the day, it was a reference to like uh, the Daily News. Maybe it still has it in New York. They have like a color section and they would print the... Um, Pictures of the people, you know, like um, 
candid photos, right? So you'll find that you're in the photogravure, like a French word, I think. And I can write a sonnet about your Easter bonnet and of the girl I'm taking to the Easter parade. So Clover was on my mind this morning. So this is about luck and optimism. Okay. And knowing that there is, there is brightness ahead. Even if it was a little dark, but your dreams are going to be making you optimistic about your future. The things that you dream of, your desires, your innermost desires are going to bring you optimism about the future. And it may change the way people look at you or it may enhance your image. More importantly, your image of yourself to yourself, your self image. Ah, shit. Being proud of who you are, being proud of the choices that you make, Okay, being proud of the love that you've attracted for some of you. Let's see if we can get some messages for the Romance Angel Oracle. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner, your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. But this came in the reverse. So this may be talking about you being very serious in the past. Not too playful, not too hopeful. Maybe in your recent past. Hmm. Your love life became very serious and focused and spiritual. Maybe the love life, the, 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 hmm. The way that you normally operate in relationships in a more playful way, maybe that has been put on hold. Maybe something or someone has brought you to a place where you are more reflective, more serious about relationships and about love. Maybe that's what that playfulness is. Oh. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Maybe that is what is at the heart of these um, spontaneous actions. Maybe you have been not been honest about your feelings about this relationship or the relationships around you or your work relationships. But if this is about love, maybe you haven't been totally honest about your feelings. And this is saying that that is going to change. Something is going to create maybe after a lot of introspection. Okay. A lot of lessons that have been learned up till now. There's going to be some compulsive action that may address the deception and allow you to charge ahead. So maybe you're going to reveal some deception that you have been wearing a false mask. Maybe you're going to expose something. Someone else has been deceptive around you and it's going to be exposed and you're going to take action and charge ahead to protect yourself and protect your aura, protect those around you. Mm. So this may be something that you have learned. There, there may be some wisdom that you've gained from this situation where you got a little more serious about love, about relationships. And maybe you've seen that you haven't been your true self, or you haven't been honest with yourself about, hmm, about your soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. And that falls on top of luck and your first house. So. Once you 
decide to reveal yourself and stop the deception and charge ahead magnificently, you will attract your soulmate if you haven't already. If you have, this is the confirmation. And this relationship is going to change the way you see yourself and the way others see you, but is going to be a good opportunity. It's going to be a positive, optimistic path. As long as you believe. So this new understanding of the past, of your past relationships, and how things may have failed, or been too serious, you're going to gain wisdom about that during this time period. You are going to address any deceptive behavior on your part or on the part of others around you. Okay, you're going to call it out, take ownership of it, and go forward with this new love, with this soulmate, going forward to brighter opportunities ahead. So no more lying to yourself, no more lying to other people. You're going to be taking charge of the situation and having faith and hope and optimism about the opportunities. But this is going to come after some soul searching and some gaining of some wisdom. So let's see what we can get from the Angels and Ancestors deck. Any further information, any further hmm, any further advice for cancer. Oh heart guardian. Love yourself and let yourself be loved. So this is about knowing that you are protected, knowing that you are loved, feeling comfortable, that you have called in your soulmate, and they're there. So open your heart and let yourself enjoy this moment, these magical moments that are coming. Oh, sweet. All right, let's see what else we have for cancer. And this is serious. This is serious transformation for you. Ooh, who is this? Well, we have the winter. Take care of your needs. This falls on top of deception. So maybe you have not been taking care of your own needs because of your image mm. and this is saying that you need to take care of yourself it's fine to take care of your family and your loved ones because that is also what the wolf does right because they travel in packs they have families right they have importance but they're also someone has to be the leader and the leader has to make sure that they take care of themselves. For some of you, you have been doing too much. For some of you, you have been being very responsible. You have been hardworking and you have put materialism ahead of spontaneity. Mm. And Maybe you've been making everybody think that this is cool and that you're all right with this, but you're not. And you're being reminded to take care of yourself. So maybe you need to have a physical, all right? See your doctor, schedule a physical, all right? Maybe you need to speak to someone about those things that are affecting you and making you depressed because playfulness in reverse spirit said this could be depression because of a past 
love relationship or past love relationships that have caused you to close down. That's why they're telling you to love and let yourself be loved. So, I say, okay, I got a date. So, take care of your needs. Go get some counseling. Go talk to somebody. Get a physical. Have your blood work checked. Your blood pressure. Okay? For some of you. All right. Maybe you've been working out too much. Hmm? Or maybe you haven't been eating properly. So take take time to take care of yourself. You can't be any good to anyone else if you're not taking care of you. Mirror guardian. And take time to reflect. This falls on top of your first house, your image, your soulmate, and luck going forward. Take time to reflect. Look at what is going on around you. And what you're feeling inside. Again, pay attention to your health. That could be take time to reflect. Maybe you have been ignoring some signals regarding your health. Maybe you've been overworking and you haven't given yourself a chance to relax. Or you've been relaxing in the wrong way. Okay, because... Playfulness in the in the reverse. That that may be depression, and maybe you're not paying attention to the fact that you're depressed because you've been so focused on working and showing this false face to those around you because you think that nobody's going to catch on. But it is the time for you to take care of your needs, take care of your physical, social, mental emotional, sexual needs, okay? And maybe that's why you need to look at yourself and what it is that people are seeing. Maybe you think everything's good, but maybe other people are seeing that you need to take better care of yourself. Maybe that's what the message is for you. Take time to reflect on what's going on and how it's affected you physically besides mentally and emotionally. Maybe it's taking a toll on your body and you haven't been um, paying attention to that. So do that. Okay. For some of you, that is relevant. So finally, let's get a message from the angel guidance cards by Doreen Virtue. Reward yourself. <laughs> You've been giving a lot of yourself lately and it's time for you to receive. Take the time to reward yourself in a meaningful way. This balance of giving and receiving is essential to keeping your energy, mood, and motivation at a consistently high level. Yeah, you got to take care of yourself. You cannot run on an empty tank of gas, right? You're running on fumes. Something, you need someone around you or something or yourself. Give yourself a break. Reward yourself. Reward yourself and reciprocate. Maybe you have been receiving and not giving for some of you. But there's a balance that's needed and that's essential. So reward yourself for the work that you've been doing. Okay? As you work on these issues from the past and open your heart and take care of yourself, like I said, getting a physical, seeing the doctor, whatever your um, medical routine is, maybe give yourself a spa day or go on vacation, all right? Roar <laughs> like the lion. Mm, family. The situation is rooted in an emotional experience with a family member, which we can help you understand and heal. In your mind and heart, surround yourself, this person, and the experience with calming blue light and many angels. Be open to the gifts within the situation 
and allow yourself to feel peace. So perhaps this playfulness upside down with this past relationship that's calling for you to love yourself and let yourself be loved has something to do with a family member. Okay. So this is saying to be open to the gifts that you have been given, be open to the lessons that you have been exposed to. Maybe you're not paying attention to what you have gained, even though you've experienced some type of a setback and loss. All right. But surround yourself, your family, those people who are important to you with white healing light. Blue healing light. Blue is good for health. Right. And know that the angels, your ancestors, your soul team is there watching, ready to help. You have a good future, but you have to do what you're being guided to do. Introspection. Okay. Taking off your false mask. Rewarding yourself. Looking at the situation, how your family, not maybe just this previous relationship or romantic relationships, but relationships in your family dynamics from your Maybe your childhood family, your family of origin may be affecting the way you see yourself and the way others see you. And maybe now the soulmate that you are attracting in to your future is going to help you learn to take care of yourself, take better care of yourself. Maybe for some of you, you weren't paid attention to as a child. Maybe that's part of it. And so maybe you're used to doing things on your own and having to wear false masks in order to survive. And I think what it's saying is for the future going forward, the lessons that you learn from the past are going to help you to remove this deceptive image. And the reward is going to be a better understanding of your family dynamics going forward, but also in the past. You're going to be doing a lot of reflecting about who you really are. But all is going to be fine because you got luck of the Irish. <laughs> okay, so I hope this message um, resonated with you. 3310. 3311. Okay. I hope this message resonates with you. All right. And don't forget to like and subscribe and share these messages. And I will be coming back. Happy birthday. June. Yeah. The end of June is cancer into July. So happy birthday. And I'll be coming back to see you all real soon. And don't forget to um, check any of the other messages that uh, correlate to your other placements. Moon, uh, rising, Venus, Jupiter, even Mars, and see if any of these other messages help to give you further clarification about the situation or the situations that may be challenging you in the weeks ahead. Okay, so be talking to y'all real soon. Thank you for watching. Namaste. Peace.